918, welcome back. Well, last week we told you about a local agency that cares more about the Super Bowl ads than the actual game. I think a lot of people can agree with that. That's because each year they put together their Spot Bowl, where fans can vote for their favorite commercials from the game night. The poll closes at noon today, so hey, you still have some time to cast your vote. And joining us once again to talk about the results is David Schaffner from the Pavone Group in Harrisburg. Good morning, David. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. We certainly appreciate it. And if somebody missed your last segment, how do you guys keep track of these Super Bowl ads for the Spot Bowl poll? Sure, yeah, the Spot Bowl poll is something Pavone Group put on uh, now in its 20th year in America Votes. Really, the polls are open until noon today, so we encourage folks to vote. Anything can happen. Oh man, I'm excited for it. There were a lot of good ones. We saw some celebrities in ads mm -hmm. last night as well. Does that star power help them out? Generally it does, but I gotta say some of the leaders that we're seeing right now don't have celebrities in them. So, so a celebrity isn't always the magic, uh, the magic bullet. I know, you know, some of them, I saw some familiar faces. Mm -hmm. We did see a couple of those. Ads from last night include uh, starring Stallone face from Paramount Plus. We're gonna check that one out. Keep it in there, big boy. <laughs> Hold it in, hold it. Hold it. Don't do it. Don't. So I missed this one somehow, but it's yeah. obvious the star of this ad is Rocky himself. Yeah. Sylvester Stallone in the ad there building a camp on Paramount Mountain. It also features other familiar faces and characters from the show on Paramount Plus. So that one I have to check out further. What'd you think? You know, it was an interesting one. I'll, I'll put it that way. I think this one answered the question, can an ad have too many celebrities? And I think mm -hmm. the answer is yes. Uh, this one was a little bizarre. I think by the end of it, we were all sort of ready to get off that mountain. I know. And, and <laughs> The Ben and J-Lo one, too. That was a good one. That one's a high-ranking one. Yeah, that was that was one of the few spots last night that made me sort of laugh out loud. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was really good. That was a nice surprise, that one. Okay, we're going to take a look at another ad next, which is high on the leaderboard in the Pavone Spot Bowl this morning. It's, oh my gosh, this was my favorite one. <laughs> Farmer's Daughter titled Forever. Oh, this one just pulls on the heartstrings of all animal lovers. Uh, forever shows the loyalty of this pup from the younger years to the older years and all the memories made in between. Something about this one, I had never heard yeah. of this brand. No, the first time advertiser in the game, and I think, yeah, you're right, this one pulled on the heartstrings. And I think ads in the game can do a lot of things. They can make people laugh, but I think if you can make people get a little choked up like this one did, you're gonna do well, and it's working, because this one is number one in our polls right now. I had a feeling yeah. it might be, that was my favorite one. Okay, finally, we're gonna take a look at the Kia commercial, also high up on your leaderboard, called Binky Dad. I forgot the binky. Tragic. Hashtag binky dad. OMG, guys, he forgot the binky. Hey, it's binky dad. Hey, go away, go away. Our top story. A father has forgotten the binky, but he's capturing hearts. <laughs> Too cute, this Kia commercial. The point was to show the SUV can take on all types mm -hmm. of terrain and handle any adventure that life throws at you. What would you yeah. think of this one? Binky Dad, I know a lot of parents can relate to this this, uh, this drama right here. And, and also another ad that proves you don't need a celebrity yeah. to make a good ad. No celebrities in this one. i got to say, though, the biggest challenge for an advertiser is making sure your brand is memorable and, and people mm -hmm. remember the brand behind the commercial. I think Kia made a good entertaining commercial, but I don't know that a lot of people are going to remember right. that this was a Kia ad. Right, and I think at least from what I'm seeing, it's just the relatability in yeah. the two that I love the most. Yeah. You really, I, you know, whether you're a parent or you're a dog lover, if you find something that people can really connect to. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. you gotta you gotta connect with people, and you gotta make it relatable. People gotta see yeah. themselves in that story. Exactly, and as we mentioned last week, the price of a Super Bowl ad nowadays, uh, seven billion million, excuse me, dollars, <laughs> still a whole lot of money. Do you think it was worth it for some of those companies last night? You know, I think at Pavone Group and Spot Bowl, that's one question we like to ask, and, and absolutely we think it's worth it. So many people watching the game, so many people watching the commercials, it really is a good investment if you can afford it. Right, and I'm thinking of one more for you, kind of off the cusp here. Mm -hmm. Were you overall impressed this year? Because I don't know if I was as impressed as the past. It, 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 it's tough, right? The, the question is always what's inter more entertaining, the game or the ads? I think the yeah. game was definitely more entertaining than the ads. The ads uh, tried to make people laugh, but I think the hype 
was a little bit uh, a little bit too much for them. I don't think that they lived up to the hype. Not not the best year this year. Yeah, I do agree with that. But like we said, that dog one, ugh, love yeah. that one so much. Okay, so there's still time to vote. How can people do that? Absolutely, you can go to spotbowl.com. Uh, the polls are open until noon Eastern today. Anything can happen. We encourage folks to go on there and vote as often as they'd like. I'm excited. I hope we reveal the winner tomorrow. We absolutely should, <laughs> absolutely. Well, thank you again so much for hanging out with us, Dave. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. And all your knowledge, we love to hear it.